Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss the proof of this theorem. So let us discuss the statement of theorem first, then we will discuss its proof. The given information is we have this circle mod Z minus Z0 is equal to R. Center Z0 radius R. So this is the circle of convergence of this power series. What is meaning of circle of convergence? That means if you take any point from the circle inside a circle, then for that point, that power series is convergent. That means having a finite sum. Getting? So we have such circle of convergence mod Z minus Z0 is equal to R of this power series. This is a given information and I have written here. Second information is we are taking one point Z1 from that circle of convergence. Let me show here. Suppose we have one some point Z1 here. Okay. Let me write here. So this is our Z1. So and I should write here and this is a given information Z1 lies inside this circle of convergence mod Z minus Z0 is equal to R, right? And the distance between Z1 and Z0 is R1. And R1 is distance between Z1 and Z0. Let me show this thing in this diagram. So this is distance R1. Okay, and this distance is R. Let me write here. So this distance is R. So after that, what we do, we consider another circle which center Z0 and radius R1. Let me show here. We have another circle which center Z0 and radius R1. And we have to prove that for any point inside that small circle or boundary on the circle, the same power series converges uniformly. This thing we have to prove. So let me add here what we have to prove. So to prove that, to prove that, summation n running from 0 to infinity a n z minus z naught raised to n converges uniformly for any z or uh, any z belongs to closed disk we have you can easily see with center z naught and radius r1 so for this thing we have to prove so in a convergence of power series, the remainder plays a very significant role. So what is remainder? Let me tell you. So when you have any power series having infinitely many terms, let me write here properly, summation n running from 0 to infinity. So this summation can be split in two parts. Okay, so the first part n varies from 0 to n minus 1 and second part n varies from n to infinity. That means the first series, okay, in first series we have very finitely number, uh, finite number of elements and in the second series we have infinitely many elements, getting? So the second part is called remainder. So generally we denote that remainder by sigma n or rho n like this, getting? So here also I am going to consider few remainders, okay? Uh, just a minute, let me write there. So therefore, let me write late sigma n b a remainder of power series summation n running from 0 to infinity mod a n z1 minus z0 raised to n. Okay. So by definition of remainder, I can write here. So therefore, the sigma n will be like this summation n varies from n to m. Actually, infinity is there. So the same thing we can write in this way, limit m tends to infinity, right? Mod n z1 minus z0 raised to n. So I have considered this remainder of this power series. Actually, we have n varies from n to infinity. But instead of writing directly infinity, we express the same thing in this way. So I'm going to consider one more remainder of another power series. Okay, make a screenshot of it, then I will go further. So let let, let me write here, let rho n of z be a remainder of power series summation n running from 0 to infinity a n z minus z naught raised to n, right? So I'm considering rho n of z to be the remainder. So by definition of remainder, we can write. So therefore, 
रो एन ऑफ जेड इज इक्वल टू समेशन एन रनिंग फ्रॉम कैपिटल एन टू इन्फिनिटी बट इंस्टेड ऑफ राइटिंग डायरेक्टली वी राइट इन दिस वे लिमिट एम टेंस टू इन्फिनिटी गेटिंग आई होप इट इज विजिबल टू यू एम टेंस टू इन्फिनिटी राइट या ए एन झेड माइनस झे नॉट रेस टू एन सी वॉट हॅपन हिअर वी हॅव अप्लाइड मॉड सो इट रिटर्न्स रिअल नंबर सो सिग्मा एन इज बेसिकली अ सिरीज ऑफ रिअल नंबर्स गेटिंग वी हॅव अ रिअल नंबर्स हिअर सो दॅट्स वाय आय हॅव सिम्पली रिटर्न सिग्मा एन बट सी हिअर झेड इज इन्वॉल्ड अँड इट इज अ कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर सो दॅट्स वाय सपोज टू राईट रो एन ऑफ झेड सो दॅट्स वाय आय सिम्पली रिटर्न सिग्मा एन बट हिअर रो एन ऑफ झेड सो लेट अस स्टार्ट विथ अ गिवन इन्फॉर्मेशन वॉट इज अ गिवन इन्फॉर्मेशन दॅट पॉईंट झेड वन यू कॅन इझिली सी हिअर झेड वन इट लाईज इन अ circle of convergence so let us start with a given information so we have we have z1 lies in circle of convergence of this power series so n running from 0 to infinity a n z minus z not rest to n getting so it lies in a circle of convergence that means if you put z1 here okay z1 here the corresponding series converges absolutely in previous result or uh, previous video we have already proved this result so let me mention here implies summation n running from 0 to infinity uh, what we have a n z1 minus z0 rest to n converges absolutely it means it means summation n running from 0 to infinity mod an z1 minus z0 rest to n converges see if the series is convergent then its remainder tends to zero very important result if you have any power series which is convergent then its remainder tends to zero and if remainder tends to zero we say the series is convergent so here we have this series is convergent but see it has remainder sigma n we have already defined it so he if this series is convergent we can say that sigma n tends to zero so let me add that thing here so it implies sigma n tends to zero as n tends to infinity so we are familiar with a convergent series of real numbers getting so we are familiar with a definition so the same definition i'm going to use that is epsilon definition so for that i need to take one epsilon first so let me take one epsilon here let me write here let let epsilon greater than 0 be given so by definition of convergence i can write therefore there exist capital n not belongs to set of natural number such that such that that mod sigma n minus 0 less than epsilon for all n greater than or equal to n not so sigma n minus 0 sigma n and see sigma n is defined in this way we have already applied mod there so obviously it will give the non negative real number so therefore obviously there is no need to apply mod it will be always positive so sigma n less than epsilon for all n uh, sorry i should write for all n greater than or equal to n not so let me call it as 1 okay so statement number 1 this is very important thing we got see there is no more space to write so make a screenshot of it then i will go further so now the next important thing we have let me write here so let z belongs to that closed ball with center z not and radius r1 right so we have taken one point from that ball closed ball the smaller ball getting since if you take we have to prove if you take any point from a smaller ball then corresponding power series converges uniformly this is our target right so that's why i have taken uh, that point from that small closed disc so therefore what will we have implies distance of z from the center of ball will be less than or equal to radius getting so radius r1 do you remember the value of r1 so r1 is nothing but mod z1 minus z0 you can go back in this video and you can check 
the definition of R1. So let me write here mod Z minus Z0 less than or equal to the value of R1 is mod Z1 minus Z0. So this is another important thing. So let me call it as 2. So see now I'm going to consider consider mod summation n running from n to m a n z minus z naught raised to n. Okay, so finite uh, terms are there and varies from capital N to small m. So if you take separate separate mod value will get increased by triangle inequality. So we'll have this is less than or equal to summation n running from capital N to m mod n z minus z naught raised to n. So her multiplication is there so we can apply separate separate mod. So this is equal to summation n running from n to m mod n mod z1 minus z0 raised to n. But see mod z minus z0 is less than or equal to mod z1 minus z0. So if you apply this or if you use this inequality here we will have this is less than or equal to summation n running from capital N to m mod n and mod z1 minus z0 raised to n. I should mention from 2. Okay. So let us combine again. Let us write the entire thing in a single mod. So this is equal to summation n running from capital N to m mod n z1 minus z0 raised to n. Right. So I have applied a single mod here. Multiplication is there. So you can take separate mod as well as you can combine them also. So the very important information we have got, but see there is no more space to write. Make a screenshot of it, then I will go further. So let us conclude this thing, therefore, therefore, what can we write? Mod summation n running from capital N to M, a n z minus z naught raised to n. So we started with same thing. And we got this inequality less than or equal to and finally I got this summation. So let me write here summation n running from capital N to M mod a n z1 minus z0 raised to n. Okay this thing. But see limiting case of this one if you apply limit m tends to infinity you will have the remainder right. If you apply limit m tends to infinity on both sides we will find that this is nothing but mod rho n of z. So this is definition of rho n of z if you apply the limit and see this is definition of this is definition of uh, sigma n. This is definition of sigma n. If you apply the limit, limit m tends to infinity. So this is one more inequality I've got. So let me call it as 3. So tell me if I combine that 1 and 3, what will we get from 1 and 3. If you combine these two inequalities, we will have rho n of z, what we got less than or equal to sigma n and sigma n less than epsilon. So this is less than epsilon for all n greater than or equal to capital N naught. It means that sigma rho n of z tends to 0 as n tends to infinity. Getting? So remainder goes to 0. It means and mod is also there. So that's why it means we can say the corresponding power series converges uniformly. So therefore, let me add here, therefore, summation n running from 0 to infinity, this is corresponding power series, a n z minus z naught raised to n converges uniformly on See here we have taken that z from this closed disc or closed ball. So it is converges uniformly for that closed disc mod z minus z naught less than or equal to r1. So in this way we completed proof of this theorem. Okay. So we proved that part. Make a screenshot of it then we will stop. Thank you. See you.